Carpenter ants. Florida carpenter ants. Generally thought of as not much of a problem, but you can see just how many can live in a situation. Carpenter ants need wet wood that's already pretty much damaged. <clears throat> they are not listed as a WDO, wood destroying organism, in the state of Florida, but they are in places like Baltimore, Pennsylvania, um, out west, and uh, people make quite a bit of money getting rid of these little suckers. Out there they can do a lot of damage. Like I said, here in Florida, the damage is pretty much already done. I was just doing a regular pest control, did a little squirt inside that crack, and boy you can just see, they go all the way up. The Florida carpenter ant can be a real nuisance. They're nocturnal. You're not going to see them too much during the day, but you'll see them at night around 1, 2 in the morning doing their thing and it's the older workers that they send out foraging for food so a lot of times even a little bit of spray is going to kill the uh, carpenter ant because it's the older worker that goes out. He was ready to pass on anyway. So um, a little bit of spray isn't going to do you much good. This nest here, I don't see any of the ants carrying the pupa or any eggs and I don't see any winged ones. What that tells me is this is probably a satellite colony and carpenter ants do this. Um, they'll have the mother colony and a couple of supplementary colonies with the uh, ready-made queens just in case something were to happen, tree falls down or construction knocks out a nest or whatever. They'll be associated with up to 10 other nests or even more or less, kind of depends. This is nature by the way. Um, and so getting one just doesn't get them all. The best way to get carpenter ants is find a little nest like this and treat it with a non-repellent insecticide such as Arillon or Termidor, something of that nature that they're going to pick up and not die right away. But what they do, that'll do, they'll get it on their cuticle. And what carpenter ants are famous for, just like other ants, is communication. And when they get back to the nest, they talk see how each other's day went and uh, as they do that feed each other things of that nature they'll pass along that non-repellent insecticide and boom pretty soon everybody will have it and uh, the colony will just take a serious crash and uh, start dying not only that colony but as they go to the others as well this has been Jerry Schaffer with PestCemetery.com talking to you about the Florida Carpenter Ant.